As a graphic designer, I'm always in a battle for time. There's always something to do, especially because we own our own business. One aspect of graphic design that I think people don't look at is productivity and how you can get more done in an easier, more efficient way. It's not about being toxically productive where you have to squeeze every moment out of every bit of time that you have. It's more about having an efficient process around your design work and how you do things. So today I'm gonna to show you all the apps and things that I do to make sure that we have an efficient process here. The first one is called Gridit, and this one allows you to generate grids around your logos really quickly. Before you had to go and manually put grids in, but now if you just wanna present this in a nice quick way in an even form, you just highlight your work and you press generate all and you'll get loads of grids in there. Obviously that's a lot of grid lines. So normally what I would do is I would select my own without the grid lines, press generate and it'll create this. I think the cool thing about this is when I'm using or testing my fonts or wanting to show my fonts really quickly and how they're pen tooled in, I can just paste it into my Illustrator app, press generate all, and it will show the grids of how this kind of works. It shows the consistency around it, it shows the handles and everything. It's really fast, really easy. Another app that is saving me so much time at the moment is the logo package. It's an extension again, so I'm gonna select my work. I'm gonna go up to window extension and it's called Logo Package Express 3. Pops up with this nice little window. Essentially, I'm just gonna select my work, set a component for my logo and it'll open up a new document and do some crazy things for a second. Don't worry, that is completely normal. Boom, it's created them in different ways now let's say i wanted to create like an icon for it i'm actually going to just change this to icon then i'm going to press set component and it will create a separate component for just the icon of the logo really fast just like so and we could do one just for the logo type as well so select that set component for just the logo type. I can go into the colors, see the full colors. I can actually go and change the padding as well for the clear space. So let's say I want 150 on each side of this, or maybe I just want, you know, 60 actually. That would probably work quite nicely having just 60. Now that I've got all of this ready, I can export the logos to anywhere from print to web into anywhere in my system and it will generate all the different files for me very fast. This would normally take hours and it saved me a bunch of hours doing this. Another Logo Package Express extension is the Logo Package Swatch, which is really interesting. I can call this project Aping Way and I can press add selected colors. I can highlight this go to add selected colors and it will give me the color values here but not only that they give you the actual names and the pantone and that's huge because nowadays we don't get pantone inside of illustrator so this gives us the full pantone color of this the best part about this actually is we can go ahead and you know make a color sheet really fast i'll do it really quickly for you and you get a color sheet with every color combination that you've got in there with the title at the top just to give to your printer or to have in your brand guidelines you can even like it's, it's ridiculous you can copy all of this information as well so copy all colors and when i press paste it will just give me a list of all the colors the names and everything it's wild okay let's talk about some apps i use outside of illustrator we use notion here in the office and this is primarily used as an organizational tool for us doing video work working with sponsors and getting onboarding information about our company to new hires or to people that we outsource I can't go into full depth with this but we have a youtube video database of all the videos that we want to do with all the information in there it's pretty wild we know which sponsors are where we know where they are in the editing order notion is essentially like an app that is so customizable you can go into high depth with it that allows you to see actions or things that you're doing and to help you organize and i've talked about notion a lot on the channel all the way from client work down to YouTube video editing, this is what we use. Something that sounds like Notion, but is actually called Motion, and you've probably seen adverts for it, is my calendar to-do list app. I used to use an app called Things 3. However, I would just see my to-do list pile up. What Motion does is slightly different. It uses AI to work out your to-do list for the day or for the week, 
and it will automatically prioritize certain tasks and projects for you. So all of my tasks are prioritized automatically. It will let me know when I can't meet something. I also have booking links on here, which is really nice. Something that I like to do is if I'm booking, I can just drag time slots of whenever I want to meet someone and then I can copy this and send it to someone if I know I can't meet on any of these other times. So it's, it's really easy and intuitive to use. Now, an app that I use that isn't really for productivity, but it is still vital is Squarespace. And they are sponsoring this video. For the past like eight years or something, I've been sponsored by Squarespace and I recommend them wholeheartedly, not only because they're just a great platform and they support creators online, but because their websites are actually good. It's, it's amazing. This is what you get with Squarespace. You get thousands of fully customizable, award-winning templates that you can fully design. If you're a graphic designer on here, you can design your own website on Squarespace without needing to know code. You have so much control if you want it, but you also, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't need to have all that control on there and it'll have amazing templates for you to use where you can put your brand. It's affordable and it's high quality stuff on there. Recently, we're transitioning our online course logo launch to Squarespace for a course launch on there and it's been an absolute breeze to design the website. So if you're a graphic designer and you don't have a website or a portfolio, then number one, what are you doing? That is the worst thing you can do. You need to have a website. You need to have a portfolio and a little corner of the internet. That's where clients will find you and your work. But let's say you are a graphic designer and you've got a portfolio, then why? Why, why should you go to Squarespace? Well, the ability to add in your own shop, sell a course, have a blog on there. The ability to do all that is seamless on Squarespace. And better yet, if you use my code or link in the description, Patterson, you'll get 10% off your first purchase after your free trial, which you can grab down below. And here's a little tip. If you don't believe me, you can actually go and click the link down below, make your own website for fun. Once you've made it and you're ready to go, that's where you can pay for it. And that's where you can actually go ahead and push it live to your audience. So go ahead, click the link down below, Get your Squarespace website, get your portfolio sorted out. And thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. A big one is FigJam. Now you're looking here at some information that I've been writing about a certain documentary video we're working on. And FigJam is a, essentially a huge whiteboard uh, inside of Figma. You pay more for it. But essentially this video is all about dark patterns. You'll get more later. But I can have my whole team in on this huge FigJam page and it's all web browser based. I can have everything on here, all the information, essentially great for collaboration, great for organizing visual information into one spot. And it doesn't cost that much. I think it's like three pounds, three dollars every month or something. I highly recommend this. It's great for lots of information that you need to understand bringing it in, especially for research projects. And because we do a lot of research into clients, we do a lot of research into competitors and in videos that we create, such as this one about manipulative design tactics, which you can see hopefully soon on the channel once we are ready to go. Not only that, it has AI in it now. You can actually, where is it called? It's called like Jamboss or something. You can like actually use ChatGPT in it to quickly ideate you know, boogie beer names. It's like ideate some boogie beer names and it'll give you all of these little sections. It's really interesting and visual way of working inside of it. And I, I really like it. Another app I use for my productivity is Milanote. As graphic designers, we're visual thinkers, we're visual people, and we need another whiteboarding space. What makes Milanote different to FigJam is it's great for collaborating with clients on base imagery. So here's like another essentially a Milanote board of another video that I'm planning on. However, we've got Milanote boards full of mood boards. It's got a web clipper. So if you like an image online, you can actually save that image and put it into your Milanote board for that project. It's a great way of getting all your ideas into one place and annotating. So it's just another great whiteboarding app for you. And last but not least is Spark. Now, obviously I can't really show you this because it's got all my emails on it, but Spark is an amazing email client. Client. It connects to my normal Gmail account and I'm able to cross talk with my team about emails that we receive. We're able to assign each other emails. We're able to chat about each email. We're able to see multiple email inboxes. It's an amazing app really. And if you haven't seen Spark yet, I'll go ahead and check it out down below. It should speed up your email workflow. Even though my email inbox is over a thousand unread, shamefully. <laughs>
If you made it to this part of the video, then say apples in the comment section below. Therefore, I'll know that you've watched this and you'll have my hard-earned respect. Check that subscribe button. If it isn't clicked, then please click it because it means a lot to us. It doesn't cost you anything and it makes us so happy and it lets us know that you like this sort of content. And if you enjoyed this video, then I'm pretty sure you will enjoy this next video over here. Go click it. Thank you.